See if I move this back just a little bit further. Something like that. I don't know. Here, you tell me what it looks like on your from your angle. Um. Can right. you see me putt? And can you see the basket? Right. Oh, I got a little more there. Yeah, and then you just gotta move that chair. Yep. To kind of rest that on there. All right. How's that look? Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right, sweet. Okay, first things first, if you're not aware, go over to Foundation Disc Golf. The link is in the description down below. Foundation Disc Golf's YouTube channel um, because they are currently doing a penalty. So while I was at the gym this morning, which is my first excuse if I don't do this quickly, traps, worked on the back, biceps, back in the gym. But they're doing a punishment right now. Hunter has to make a 1,000 putts from 30 feet. Connor has to make 2,000. Trevor has to make 2,000. I saw it, I said, hey, you know what? Let me join them. So I need you guys to kind of bounce back and forth to keep me updated on where they're at and how they're doing. Kelsey's bringing some lighting situation. Since we did just see, hey, first off, shout out to the Eclipse, that was sick. Um, what is that song? Total Eclipse of my heart. Um, so yeah, very cool. I'm gonna make sure this is plugged in. It is. All right. And maybe you can, I have an extra one here. Plug it in that so you don't have the yeah. use that plug. All right, let's read some chat. How's the audio? If I turn this way, is the audio still okay? Frederick, what's up? Eclipse day, 1,000 putts can't get any better. Let's freaking go. Connor only needs to make 1,000. Oh, Connor needs to make 1,000? Hunter and Trevor need to make 2,000? All right, so let's get started. I have, um, hopefully the audio is okay for you guys. Hawaii is overrated. All right, they're sending the people over. That's great. I love it. They're sending the people over. That's fine. I, I need an update from someone, someone loyal. Someone give me a legit update. Did that not work out? No. Someone loyal, someone give me a legit update of where Connor, Hunter, and Trevor are at right now, points-wise. Trevor is 2,000, the others are 1,000. Oh, I thought someone was 2,000. So I have to beat Trevor. It's going to be hard to beat the other ones. 1,000 putts. Okay. Hunt is at 800-something. Okay, so we have two batches here. We have a batch of 20 and another batch of 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Con Connor's at 513. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, so we have two batches of 20. So every round, I'll have 40. I'm just going to count the ones that don't go in the basket and then subtract from 40. Maybe I'll have Kelsey. Babe, I have the chat right here. Do you want to read the chat? It's I'm massive. not looking at the chat. Oh. 499 from Joey. Connor and Trevor at 600. Hunter is at 800. Joey, you're a real one. Appreciate it. I'm going to need your guys' updates throughout. Let's see how long this takes. We are starting this at just over 1.50 p.m. We might have a celebrity guest. Kelsey might come in, scoop and putt a couple. Um, but hopefully, you guys had a great eclipse day. Do people, you think people got off work to see that? 100%. Sure, right? They like walked out and saw Yes. This sure. is, that'll never happen I don't know if the boys did. Did they all go out and watch, or did they keep putting? If they kept putting, I might have to snack them. No, they weren't in totality path. They weren't in the path of totality. So. They weren't? No. We were? Yeah, we're in, they're, yes. I just thought all of America was in the path of Janice, totality. I would stop talking right now. They're Full gonna, path they're totality. gonna clip that one. They're not, oh no, they are gonna get it at 315, it says. Maybe a little bit, right? Lynchburg yet. I didn't think that they were. You don't think they're getting to totality? No, not totality. They might see the eclipse, like barely, but they it won't get as Someone dark as Someone's saying Janice in here. Janice, a lot of Janice in the chat. All right, let's see how we start off here, boys. 30 feet. Oh, air ball to start. Nice warm up. The first round is going to be rough. And then uh, hopefully some of these putters have a little dust on them, too. First round to be rough, and then hopefully we get a little groove here. I guarantee someone's gonna keep trying. 
track of how many to. What? I'm saying I guarantee someone's going to keep track of how many. Well, I'm keeping track too. I got a little piece of paper here. I think uh, last time I did this, which this is actually a good thing for me to do right now, because I just started back my putting regimen. Um, I'm just getting back into practicing a crap ton. So we'll see, this is actually helpful. Um, but last time I did this, I wanna say I was 25 feet away, not 30, which makes a decent difference. It's not totality over here in Virginia. Okay, so Kelsey was right, she's always right. Five. 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 Okay, first batch of 20. Had to buy my wife a Z-Lite Thrasher since her name is Janice. Oh, heck yeah, Zachary. Let's go, dude. That's it. No. Good basket, though. I think after, after like the third batch, I shouldn't have any more air balls. This is a, uh, this bring me back to like when I was messing around in the YMCA, me and my buddy would like do a bunch of medicine ball work with the, uh, with the medicine ball and then we would try to shoot baskets afterwards and we would just be bricking it. That's kind of what I feel like right now is I've got like a trap pump. So I kind of just got to work through this and then we'll be kind of locked in. Oh, I need to get my device. I need to get my device. Hey, hey, can you get my uh, stick? It's a white stick out of my car. It's like this, it's like four feet wide and it's got the ball at the end. It's out of the trunk of my car. That's gonna save my back. When you do like, uh, when you do challenges like this, it's a marathon, right? Not a sprint. Oh. And that just kind of shows you why I missed nine putts inside the circle my first round. Putting, literally, to get good at putting, obviously you need good form. But ultimately, you can putt so many different types of ways, and if you just do it enough times, you'll get good at putting. So it's literally just a repetition game. Um, all right, let's see where we're at. Love that shoe squeak. Yeah, I got a little wet. My shoe's a little wet, so that'll probably go away at a time. Oh, this is not good. Not a good first batch, but not worried. I was expecting a bad first batch. I made 75%, boys. I think I missed more than 10. Easily missed more than 10. We definitely want to be in the 90% range. There's five. There's 10. 16. Jeez, we're almost 50%. That's really bad. First round, though. Also, got to get rid of this gun. Let's go. Get the flip out of it. All right, so we missed, what, 16? Is that what I said? So 20, 24 after the first batch. Really bad. 24, really bad at first batch. But it was to be expected. I'd do a little bit better than 24, honestly. Takes too long to pick them up when there isn't a net behind. Uh, yeah, but ideally I should be making more. So we're going to put 24 down. It, it shouldn't take that long. And I shouldn't, I really shouldn't be airballing any putts. So they should be close. All right, here we go. Batch number two. Let me know when I start getting close. Like I said, if you're just joining, Trevor, 624, Connor, 530, Hunt, 856. 
Let me, uh, let me know if, once I start getting close to, make sure you go check out Foundation Disc Golf on YouTube. They're going live right now. Link in the description. Connor, Trevor, and Hunter are all doing the same thing. We'll see. No! Yeah, that looks sweet. <laughs> it's good to like a little dust. <laughs> now I can't unhear it, and it's causing me to miss. <coughs> there we go. Oh. This is this is what I honestly needed though. This? I needed a lot of putting practice. Because my putts been so bad. Like look at that. Before I release the disc. Someone said stealing foundation viewers? Wow. No, they're going back and forth. That's the whole plan. The whole plan is for some people to be watching this and then you go and watch what's going on over there. If you haven't subscribed to Foundation Disc Golf yet, also, if you haven't subscribed to Foundation Disc Golf yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go subscribe over to the YouTube channel. We're going to try to hit 200,000 by the end of this year. That's the goal. Do you think we can get Edwin to do a statistical breakdown of your foundation putting challenge? That would be something. Dual screen, yeah, Lance has it. If you're on your computer, you can pull both screens at the same time. Boom, Joel's watching both screens at the same time. Yes. All right, let me do like a little, let me do a little trick with the talk. I'm doing it poorly though. I'll change this next round. No! I don't think there's much better than the first one, yes. That one kind of got pushed out. Alright. Let me, uh, Change shoes here to get rid of the squeak because that squeak was a uh, that thing was gonna get old. Do you ever play Audubon? Audubon? Yeah, Audubon's a really good course. We need to go film a video there, actually, probably. I think that's I think that's the next series I want to do on YouTube is um, bounce around and uh, show off some of the courses in Dallas. I don't think we've actually shown too many of the courses that are really good in Dallas. I mean, I say really good, really good for Dallas. They're not, they're not great professional level courses. All right, that was the background, Dennis. Was it? I'm gonna go look at the eclipse again. What? I'm gonna go look at the eclipse again. This is gonna save my back though. So again. We're thinking about long term, not short term here. Long term, not short term. Oh. Seeing the total one was wild. Is that a suction cup this picker upper? Yeah. Alright, can you write this down, babe? Yeah. I'm gonna give you the number in the uh oh, you gotta subtract it from 20. So five. Subtract it from 20? 40. Subtract it from 40. So we're at 30. I'll do it for you. We're at 25. 22. Yikes. We are we are putting horribly, folks. 22, so can you add that? 18? What? Oh, okay, so add 18. Add 22. Add 22. Wait, so the next number that you want me to put 
22 plus whatever that number is. Just so there should just be two numbers on there. One that I wrote, one that you wrote. Okay. I didn't know if you were. Did I get 24 in the first batch? Yes. Yeah, so it should be 46. Oh, so you do want me to add, you do want me to put the total underneath. Yeah. I didn't know if you just wanted me to put down what you You can cross off that do. top one too. So we're not confused. All right, we're at 46, pretty bad. I'm gonna say, pretty bad. What? No, oh, you're good. Hunter's at 889, so he's gonna get it for sure. Yes, no sleep. It just shows you how much work my cut stroke needs. I should probably move that this dot to like the middle of the friggin' basket. See, that's just so bad. That push. You want me to move that this Dingleberry. This could take a while. No, I'll get better as we go. I knew the beginning was going to be tough. This is a distance that like, you got to make. As I airball that one. Legit workout. I will. Uh, I will burn a lot of calories. Oh yes, Brody.
Why? Because I can do. I can bring out two baskets. Ooh, that good. I don't know. Someone suggested it. Yeah, there's another basket out there. I don't know what that would do. Oh, like just bring out more putters? I guess. I don't have an insane amount more putters. Are all those roaches? Yes. All roaches. Roaches all the time, baby. We got some like the old ones. Also, I ate lunch. I don't look like I have a baby. I just look like I had lunch. No, I don't think people were saying you have a baby. I think people were just expecting us to have a baby. Uh, these are the old ones, and then these are the new ones. So I've got, I got both kinds in here, different plastics. Same exact this. Dude, look at this thing. What the heck? One of the boys got into that. <laughs> one of the boys got into that one. Here we go, for the boys. No! Yes! We're going outside in five minutes. Who? The foundation guys. Oh, thank you. getting tired from putting. That's how sad this is. I'm not kidding. I gotta go Chris at the top. Not good. Still not good. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. We have eclipsed 100. But I'll, I'll let you know once we uh, actually have a good round. So that's going to be 104. 104. Connor's falling apart. Oh, geez. Where's Connor at then? What number is Connor at? Connor 569. Quick reset. 
I saw. Well, yeah, a little bit of frustration, but sometimes it's what you need. Can't do a hundo every time. Here we go. Eat some nuts. <laughs> Nice. People always ask though, like, hey, how do I get better? How do I get better at disc golf? And it's literally just like the fastest way to get better at disc golf. Oh, James, what happened? The fast, can you try? The fastest way to get better at disc golf is simply just practice putting. <laughs> it's, if you putt better, it's so much easier. No. I'd say this is where like Thank you, Ryan. some people have the biggest disadvantage is because they just don't have enough time. They might have a nine to five job, right? And they get done with work. The last thing you want to do is just practice putting. You want to go to the course and play. So you have a massive disadvantage because again, if you can just, if you're able to spend 30 minutes to an hour every day practice putting, you'll, it's, it's not, it's like shooting a free throw. Anyone can get good at shooting a free throw. Now getting good at basketball, that's way challenging, but Anyone, there's not really that much skill in putting. Anyone can get good at putting. It's kind of like, it's kind of like cornhole. Anyone can get good at cornhole. Requires really little athleticism at all, and it's just muscle memory. And then eventually being able to actually execute. And that's probably why when you miss so many putts. It's really frustrating because you realize how easy putting is. I was like 90 to 95 percent for 30 percent or 30 feet. So that just kind of shows you just putting wise how quick how quick you can get it back.
No. No, dude. I can just feel it too. The inconsistency, like the timing, the release point, I can just feel it come out of my hand. We might have some dance spots coming up. I feel like you got an eclipse. Ha <laughs> ha! Live in your hand. I had to think about it. There's a bad round. Time to turn around to a good round right here. Gotta make all these. Bad. Absolutely destroy me right now. That wouldn't be a close battle. Oh, would kill me and put him. Oh, uh, where are we at? 163. If I have a good batch here, we'll be close to 200. challenge last year. I wish that was still an event, man. That was, a, that was a fun one. I know it was kind of out in the middle of nowhere, and that's probably why they're not doing it again. But it was still fun. No, dude. You guys can see the struggles. That I'm going through right now. I'm getting back to being a good putter. And is it make a thousand or throw a thousand? Make a thousand. Throw a thousand is super easy. Now let me forget that one, guys. That one, that one flew off the screen. I can do a water. I don't know how long we've been doing this. It's bad. It's bad when my putts from 30 feet are hyzering in. That's how you know my putt is off. Because it should be like that. It should be, there should be no hyzer. 
Like it should just be a dead straight laser beam. God! It's okay for the hyzer on the disc. Fatigue challenge. Two skewer putts at the end. Need it. Oh. Bad batch. Bad batch. Take two off the overall count, so we're at 188. Right? Two? Yeah, Wait, I should good. add, not subtract? How does that make sense? If I putted with 39 putters and I missed 11, I made 28. Or I missed 11, I made 29. But if I had 39, then I only made 28. Yeah, subtract. It's subtract. Yeah. I think we're good, right? 188, I think, is the number. So let's make 12 to get to 200. Just airballing from this distance. Gosh! See that lock. Nice, Hunter.
That's so bad. I might be able to beat Connor at 1,000. I don't know. Let's we'll see. Be tough. He's at 216.
Someone said, I'm not sure Connor and Trevor will survive this challenge. It's brutal over there right now. Hey, I feel it too. My right shoulder feels like it's about to fall off. 229 out of 1,000. My right shoulder feels like it's going to fall off already. Connor's at 613. Let's go, Big Con. This thing doesn't even pick up half of them because it's dusty. Let's go, Big Con! Alright, let's get, let's get back into the 30s here. There you go. Let's get back into the 30s. Let the Corgis putt, they'll probably do better than me. I'm gonna let you speed up. He won't chase. That's freaking yelling. What the heck's going Come on? Everybody. Good start. Knucklehead. It's just, it's just so bad. It's just so, it's just, it's just so bad. It needs so much work. Months of work, man. It needs like two months of work. For it to get back to like an okay putting stroke. Two months of work. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you guys are seeing the failures right in front of your face. Like it's just so bad. It's just coming out like you don't know how to punch. Ride the bicycle! What? Like, it's, Here. ride the bicycle. I know. You never forget how to ride a bicycle. Someone put 17 minutes until there's a full mint TV. We're not going no. to have a full mint TV here. I've never, I've never had a bit of great drum. I think we're having one right now. No, we're coming to a realization of how crappy I am at disc golf. That is what we're coming to. We're coming to a realization that I suck at this sport. And we just have to deal with it. Well, you have two choices. You can either say, okay, I suck at this sport and give up. Or you can say, I can suck at this sport and I'm just going to keep grinding until I get good at it. Those are your only two chances. Choices, not chances. Choices. So you have to make a decision. What do you want to do? And I made the decision that I'm tired of sucking at disc golf. This entire year, I've sucked at disc golf. And I'm tired of it. So now I have to, here's the thing. This is going to suck worse or less than sucking in tournaments. Yeah. What I'm doing right now. If I continue to suck in tournaments, that sucks. That will never be fun. 
What's your favorite spot to eat in Dallas? Good question. study for and we're live streaming us taking a test that's what we're doing right now. last time I studied for months and months and then I went and took a test and live streamed it and here's the thing I'm okay showing how bad I am at this sport here someone said you need hopefully you need corgi, you need corgi pets to get the vibe hopefully this gives motivation and helpfulness to others to see that literally all you have to do is practice and then you get good that's it. You don't practice, you suck. You practice, you get good. It's a, it's a very, it's a very simple formula. Okay. What do we have here? Two basket that is it's a discraft discraft chain star discraft chain star I just gotta get the feel of like what it feels like to actually spin the disc back in the basket because now that, that batch right there, the last one wasn't good, that batch right there was ultimate frisbee. That was not disc golf, that was like ultimate frisbee. This, this, this is ultimate frisbee right here. Just going back, throwing a little. Oh man, shoulders giving out, come on, wake up. It's not that many putts. Shoulders gone, shoulders gone. <laughs> I don't want to think. I, I want. I hope it's not the putting. I'm hoping it's also the lift that I did. But it might be the putting. It might be the putting. It might be the putting. Ha! Oh. Gosh! Yeet. You need to see the shoulder give out. <laughs> I'm fat, I'm out of shape, and I haven't practiced. This is a recipe for disaster. But my boys are struggling, so I'm struggling. We struggle together. Where's, where's Connor and Hunter at? Or Con Trevor? 
I think yeah. Trevor and Connor. Trevor, uh, Trevor's at five, 753, and Connor's at 630. See, look at this. All of us are struggling together. That's what it's all about. <laughs> oh, wait. You threw one wild out there, remember? 16. 16, so 24. Let's go, Trevor. Well, 220 to get to 1,000. Disc golf harder than ball golf? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Switch to a straddle putt. We're going to straddle this match. I got to finish before the national championship game. Close to 200 plus putts. I'm 
probably 300 out of 500, something like that. Maybe worse. Maybe 300 out of 550. I don't know. It's not good. It's not good, folks. Hunter probably did it faster than I did it, to be fair. I think Hunter's going to do it faster than me. For sure. I'm cutting like an absolute medium dude. One hour in? Is that when we have started? Yeah. We started at 1.48. So, by my math, it's over two more hours of this. If I putt this bad. My goodness, I gotta... You don't have to be here. I gotta walk on the treadmill. You don't have to be here. Let me let me just fall fall away deep into a dark pool on this. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go on the treadmill. Let me let me fall. I, I deserve this. I deserve every second of this. Do you have enough water? I'll be fine. Alright. Oh, I deserve every second of this. Come in, boys. Wait, is someone say, is someone trying to make me feel better by saying this golf's harder than golf? Try to take the hat off. No hat. Who's trying to say that this golf's harder than golf? Someone that's never played golf before? Thoughts on the CDG championship? What is that? College disc golf? I, I don't really know nothing about it. Uh, we're at 300 right now. My release point is so hot. Waste, waste, waste. I'm missing so many pots! It's insane how bad I've got. Holy cow. I'm just so atrocious.
physical beatdown right now. Just getting thrown to the slaughter. Thank you, Robin. It's just going to be an upward climb for the next couple months, unfortunately. But hey, I dug myself a hole. I got to I got to dig myself out of it. No one to blame but myself. I wish I was only at 25 feet. I'd be done a lot faster. Oh. Winter world title? Well, I got a couple months to get good again. Control my emotions. Thank you, Gary. <clears throat> I might need to find marijuana. <laughs> Never smoked before. Probably not going to start. Need to go Rage Monster. Next tournament? That's a good question. I'm not, I'm not locked in yet. It might be Nashville. It might be Champions Cup. It might be even later than that. We'll kind of, we'll kind of, we're playing it by ear right now. I kind of threw myself into the fire. Pretty bad. Big Cotton just broke the metal on Trevor's basket. How is that even possible? Business a little bit. Can we keep it alive? 
How many am I at? Let me, uh, let me add 30 real quick. We're at 355. 355. Now, come on. Just shorten, shorten them all. Let's try a suit change up. Trev update. How, how, how the boys doing? If you're just joining, Trevor, Connor are doing the same exact thing over on the Foundation Disc Golf channel. Go support them. Go over Foundation Disc Golf, the YouTube channel. Subscribe if you haven't. The link will be in the description. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and uh, like the video. Let them know. Uh, cheer them on. Let them know they're getting close. 681 for Con. What did I just do? 24? Yoink, it's actually terrible. It's not, not good, it's terrible. 24, so we're at 379. 681, we're at 379, Keto. 681, let's go. All right, Connor's almost, Trevor's at 800, nice. The boys are moving, love to see it. We're in this together. We're freaking grinding today, boys. Grinding on the eclipse day.
I can just feel it sometimes. A little anti plant here. Whatever happened to the snap? Whatever happened to the snap, kid? You used to have pop. The pop is gone. You gotta re retrain the pop. It's just gone. Zero pop. So 90% at 30, 30 does not mean he's 90% C1X would be considerably better. 90% at 30 would be um, very impressive. Yeah. 90% C1X is I would say a good putting week. Um, but you could you could end up having, you know, I think there was one tournament that I was 100% from circle two and people were freaking out. And I think I had like six putts inside the circle and they were all like 35, 40 feet. So it wasn't crazy. That's why stats are pretty, uh, pretty bad. The way we currently have it. Almost as bad as my putting. But my putting's worse. And if you're new here, then you guys should know that self, what is it? De self, de what's the word? What? Privation? I don't think that's it. Privation? Self deprivation? Self deprivation. I don't think it's privation. Self deprivation. Self deprivation. Yeah. Self deprivation. Yes. Self deprivation is something that I have lived by my entire life. Um, so do not. We will not be teaching our children that though. Do not. Well, no. But it does motivate you. To tell yourself you're trash, it does motivate you to get better. I just, I've just never been the type of person where, like an ultimate frisbee, the last thing I wanted to hear when I made a mistake, the last thing is I wanted someone to come to me and be like, oh no, come on man, you're fine, you're fine. I know I'm fine. I'm gonna figure it out. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> defecation, yeah, self-defecation, that's maybe what I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, right now this looks really, really bad. We'll do this again in two months and we'll see how bad it looks then. There was just a moment in time where I was literally coming up, I was literally questioning whether or not I still wanted to compete at disc golf. I still enjoy disc golf, like just playing regular, like uh, occasionally every once in a while. I did it, you know, I played in the off season a handful of times and I still like had somewhat of an enjoyment, but the idea of like practicing and uh, getting ready for tournaments, I just, that's where I, I kind of lost it. And um, you know, I had to do a lot of thinking these last couple months about what I wanted to do. And, you know, I made a decision uh, about, gosh, what was it, a week ago or so, that, you know what, we're gonna give this thing another run. So, yeah, if I could go back in time, do I wish I would have practiced in the off season? Sure, I'm sure a lot of us would like to go back in time and change things that we did in the past. But in the moment, I thought I was doing what was right and what was the best thing for me. And so, that's just the thing is like, it's really easy to go back in the past and be like, oh, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. It's more about making, you know, the change as soon as you come to the conclusion that you want to change, making it immediately, or at least putting the steps forth immediately and making that change. So that's where we're at right now. That's where we're at. Right now.
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 26. 26 that back. 26 that back. 26. So we're at uh, 405. 405. 681. He's broken? What happened to Connor? Self-deprecation is usually associated with humbleness, not being overly critical of, of yourself. I'm not following him. His voice sounded sad. Oh no. You think setting up and taking a putt from a slightly different spot each putt would be better practice? No. I've always said like there's different there's different types of practice. Right now, honestly, the practice I'm doing the most is literally just muscle. Um, um, uh, muscle strengthening, muscle and muscle endurance is really where I'm at. The fact that I'm struggling to putt right now, as many times as I have, that just shows that these muscles have just gone. They're they're gone. So right now, it's almost even more of a muscle strengthening endurance practice to where I can actually have these longer putting sessions. Um, but no, I think there's a di two different ways of practicing. I think one is like form work, and you're simply just trying to get reps. So you can stand 10 feet from the basket and just work on the pop and the form and just work on that. And then there's like six situational, which is yes, step up to a putt, go through your entire routine, boom, make it. And you know, force yourself to have to do that 10 times a row, in a row. So there's two different types of you know, putting. And it's the same in like every sport, basketball, golf, you go to any sport, you're gonna have form work where you're literally working on like the fundamentals, and then you're actually going to go into like more of a situational aspect. Because you're too old? No, I'm just out of shape. I'm, I am old. I would say I'm definitely older than I was a couple years ago. Should I say 850? Let's go, Trev. 150 more. All right. Let's see if we can get close to uh, 450 here. That was such a bad set. I mean, one of those. Oh boy. 
See, muscle endurance. I can't even put 40 times in a row and, and let, until my, my shoulder is just giving out. You have played long enough that you would know when you're doing something wrong. If you reply to my comment, I just meant for people in general. I don't remember your comment, Stab. Come on, Brody, them cars aren't going to open themselves, yep. I've fallen apart? Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Twenty-two. That's actually a really bad batch. That was really bad. Just over fifty percent. coaching series. Uh, we got to move back to Dallas. We'll be back out there um, for the beginning of the season again. So hopefully I can reconnect with those guys and uh, you know help them some more. The little that we were able to do, I hope they improved a little bit. They got something out of it. Don't you think doing something like this is detrimental to your shoulder? No. Because I'm not doing anything stren strenuous. This is literally just, it's like the same thing of asking like, do you think walking for a long period of time, even though you're starting to get really tired is detrimental? If I was like lifting weights to the point where my shoulder was getting exhausted, then yeah. But no, this is, this is actually gonna build muscle endurance and I'll be good. Tomorrow I'll be a little sore, cut through the soreness. We're moving forward. Did I add that? 22, I did. We're at 427. Let's get let's get to freaking uh, let's get to 500 over there. Come on. Tournaments. You either gotta make these putts in tournaments 
Or you got to throw like Evelina. Oh, come on. Golf's all about just repetitions. Reps, 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 ultimate strategy, endurance. 720, 888. They're suffering. 720 for Connor. Let's go, Connor. Connor's gonna beat me, to be fair. <laughs> How are we doing? Not good. Oh no. Arms getting really tired. Can I help in I any gotta way? Go, I gotta go like a push button. Can I help any way, shape, or form? No. Okay. I just gotta go like a little spinny, spinny putt. Good. 
22. Four seventy five. All right, let's get our five hundred here. Those grunt punts look nice. Every sport needs Serena Williams. Why not you? That's funny. Hey, tackle gangs in here. Let's go. Me and Kelsey got a pretty solid team, yeah, that's what it's all about. Finding someone that you can live the rest of your life with. No one's perfect, that's the key. Everyone, I had this idea, not to get philosophical, I had this idea that uh, there was this perfect person out there for me. And as long as, I just had to find this perfect person. And, uh, I think that's actually false. And I think that's what gets a lot of people in trouble is they'll get into a relationship and something will happen in the relationship. And they're like, well, this person obviously isn't for me. Now I'm not talking about like major red flags, right? I'm talking about like little tiny stuff. And so you're just like, oh, well, obviously this person's not for me, bounce onto the next. And you're trying to find that one person that has no flaws and, uh, yeah, I think that's the wrong way of approaching it. I think everyone has flaws, I have flaws, Kelsey has flaws, and I think you just have to find someone that you're willing to work through their flaws and they're willing to work through your flaws together so you can do better. That's my thought. No, I, I told Kelsey that. I think, if you have this, I think if you have this idea that there's someone out there for you, I mean, think about that. Are we really going to believe that out of 8 billion people, there is only one person that is perfect for you? That's a crazy thing to think. I think actually you could probably, and I think ultimately too, that really shows you how strong your marriage is, is because at that point, like if there was a perfect person and you found that person, it would be so easy to stay with them. Right? And so this idea that there isn't this perfect person for you, you're making the choice of like, no, me and you are gonna do this together, you know, the game that is life. I don't know. Some of you might disagree with me on that, on that but that's what I think. Yeah, we're in Dallas right now. Your shrimp tacos were the bomb? Heck yeah, dude. Not really, just thinking quick. We went a little philosophical, a little religious there, I guess. Takes a lot of faith and commitment, that's all I'm gonna say. It takes a lot of faith and commitment. See, uh, I just disagree, I think, I think even if you want to go, I wasn't trying to go the religious route, but even if you want to go the religious route, I think God has many people that you could, that, you know, if you want to go the religious route, there are many people that you could find and end up marrying and having a wonderful, faithful life with. Um, I, don't, I don't like the idea that there's this one, spit, like God has this one person chosen for you. I don't like that idea. And I don't think it says anywhere in the Bible that that's actually true. Have you ever been to Norway, Sweden, Finland for disc golf? Yes, I have. You're watching from Iowa? Let's go. 
You don't believe that there's the one either? Yeah, I don't either. Perfect imperfections, heck yeah. We did see the eclipse, it was awesome. At times, there are automatic people on Earth, someone doesn't have a person, I guess. <laughs> Is there stuff in the Bible about monogamy being the correct move? I believe so, yeah. I think Connor will probably beat me. I'm not even at 500 yet. All right, here we go. I'm 30 feet away. They, I think they're also 30 feet away. at their 30 feet. I feel like Connor and them are like 15 feet. No. Stop, guys. They're 30 feet. Come on. They have too much integrity. I think I almost have too many discs in the basket sometimes. There's definitely a handful. Like, that. that is a make and it just shoots out. We might actually, we might switch this up, folks. Because also the last, like, 10... The last 10, my shoulder is almost out anyway, so I think we're going to do is we're going to start doing batches of 30, not 40. We're going to do batches of 30, not 40. Okay, some of them are getting pushed out because there's too many discs in the basket, but then also my arm starts getting tired around 30 anyways. This might be the secret sauce change that I needed. Alright. One, two, three, four, wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Uh, we made twenty-four that round. We made twenty-four that round. So we're at five, four ninety-nine. We are one away from halfway. One away from halfway. We're switching to 30. Two. Okay, we're at 30 now. Batches of 30 moving forward. Oh.
Batches of 30, here we go. Come on, folks. Batches of 30. Was this the game changer we needed?
Come on. Drop. Drop. Oh. Oh man, I'm getting tired at 20. I'm getting tired at 20, guys. Holy cow. Tired at 20. Dang, all right. Maybe a couple straddle putts here. Put a little bit more. Uh, 539. Put a little more in my, um, my lower region here. It's gonna take forever if I'm only making 17 at a time now. Just be honest with you guys. Five fifty-eight. Five fifty-eight right now.
one. Oh, shoulder. Come on. Come on. No. out there, you know how, how 21 feels too. Thanks for the dollar ninety nine. I just caught that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Five seventy nine. Another twenty one gets us to six hundred. What's with the MVP equipment? Well, this crap doesn't have one of these, or else I would have it. But it's super nice. I think we have some on the Foundation Disc Golf store, but it's super nice for uh, holding discs. 21 gets us to 600. One. Puts us at 597. Charge at 1023. Let's go. Feels like he's about 40% at 30. Now, I'm like probably closer to 60%. 
and I would say um, at my peak, I was probably close to 90, 93%. So I'm, I'm way, way down for where I need to be. Also, we're not, I mean, I am putting open, you know, there is wind and stuff, but obviously it's the same putt over and over. So it's a lot harder to putt 90% in a tournament than it is to putt 90% in practice, obviously. All right, here we go. Three to get to a thousand. I said a thousand, I meant 600. There it is. We're at six, boys. We're at six, boys. Come on. Let's move here. Girl. Drop. Puts us at 630. No, 620. 620. Chain Star Light, Discraft, Chain Star Light.
Oh boy. Tired shoulder. last rep, the last rep of a set. <laughs> My shoulder is full with lactic acid right now. Oh man. Ah. Power through. Ah. Ah. Six thirty five. Oh. All right, we're going back to forty counts. No, we're not. We're staying at thirty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. 
You're at 21, folks. 21 and counting. Six fifty-six. Six fifty-six. Oh. What was out of water? Don't you know? Pump it up. You gotta pump it up. Don't you know? Pump it up. You gotta pump it up. Don't you know? Pump it up. You gotta pump it up. Feel the rhythm. I don't know what the heck that is. All right, Gamber. Not nearly as accurate, but way easier on the shoulder. More, more like a throw. Almost like a Nicholas. I'm kind of a Nicholas Dan Burr. So that's 18, another 18. Okay, we might go uh, kind of push putty here. Scoobers, scoobers, 
Scoobers. Ah. Oh. Screw you. Shoulders going down fast. Shoulders going down fast. So that was a batch of 11. Oh boy. I can't have any more of those. That was just a waste of time. 11 is a waste of time. They picked a heck of a day to do this thing. My shoulder's done. Ugh. My shoulder is done. He only has to make 8.50, yeah. I have to make uh, 315. He has to make 150. 30 feet is like, it's just enough that's like hard to get to the basket. 25 feet, no problem. 30 feet. <laughs> Every putt's like a little different. Oh, gosh. It'd be a great time. It'd be a great time to put lefty. 
was that 700? 15 just got me to 7. 300 more. We did it. 15. Come on. No breaks. We're at 702. <laughs> My body's falling apart. The lactic acid is building so strong. Holy smokes, guys. Should have done legs. chest workout. Have you guys ever done the one where you start with um, <laughs> your bench pressing and you start with a lot of weight and then you go until you can't go anymore and then they take five pounds off and then you go until you can't go anymore and you get down to where you're doing the bar and like if someone walks into the gym and you're just like <laughs> you're just yeah, it's just the bar yeah you barely even lift the bar that, that is exactly how I feel right now. I feel like I can barely get a disc to 30 feet. Oh. 
What up, Flan fam? What up, brother? I can't, I can't do steppers at 30 feet. Illegal punts. Eighteen puts us at seven twenty. Scott tried four hand putts, they didn't go they didn't go well. They didn't go too good. It's going to be tough. The lactic acid. The lactic acid. I don't know what to do. My shoulder is just gone, guys. Oh! Blame it on the basket. The baskets are bad. No. I'm not. There's no blame on anything. 
Brody, are you playing down throw? No. 10, 15. It's just a thousand cut. 22. 22 minutes. So, oh, hey. 22 minutes. Okay, so you're at 742 now. Yeah, we did it in the garage. It was 25 feet, and I was practicing putting an hour to two hours every day. Uh, and I was not fat. <laughs> there was a lot of things going for us. And wasn't it kind of cold, too? It wasn't like as hot, but you don't like the cold. <laughs> no, I think, hey, I, you're going to go inside if you do that. None of that. I had a skin. Dad's feet, please. What are we doing? Be nice. No, I'm going to step on them and they're going to get hurt. Wait, someone wants me to do push ups? Yeah. I'll die. I'm dead right now. Monumental, that puts us at 770, right? Yeah, monumental. We got a total eclipse.
You could have a couple of years ago. Now it might be a little harder. <laughs> it's a lot, a lot better to grow up this now. A lot more, I guess I should say. Oh, this is brutal. 90 behind Connor. Disc Golf YouTube channel. They're uh, they're grinding right now as well, trying to get to uh, trying to get to 2,000 Trevors. I, I physically don't think my body could get to 2,000 today. Well, Connor's just here. Oh, he made it. Uh, 
can't feel my arm. <laughs> Hey, are you still at the warehouse? No, I'm back at home. Oh, who's still at the warehouse? Just Trevor and Connor? Just Trevor and Connor, yeah. Will they answer if I call them? Uh, if, you call, if you call Connor, he just answered for me. All right. He should answer. Uh, can you, I'm on Kelsey's phone. Can you text me Connor's number? She doesn't have his number. Yeah. Oh, she uh, might. Does she have Trevor's number? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Okay, he should have his phone, too. All right. Just text me. If not, I can text you Connor's All right, I'll try calling Trevor. All right. Yeah, I have Trevor's number because I needed to talk to Kinsey, and then I also have Kinsey's number too. Let's see. Whoops. He's going to probably be like, well, no, he should know. Yeah, he's going to know. He should know. Um, I never know. I think at first he's going to be like, why the heck is Kelsey calling me? But then he'll be like, oh, it's fine. Text Hunter what's Connor's number. Uh. Yeah, I think we started three hours behind them. Something like that. Oh, my hands got a. Oh, my hand. Trevor's, Trevor's calling. Oh. Hey! What is. What's yeah? What's what? You're on speaker right now. What's Connor at right now? Connor's at. He's at like 88 right now. All right. If if he gets to a thousand before me, I'll buy you and I'll buy yours and Connor's La Creta meal. Oh wow, that's pretty tempting. Okay. What what are you at right now? I'm at 821. I can't raise my arm above my head. What do you mean? You're gonna catch me. Did you just hear what I said? I can't lift my arm above my head. I'm, I'm, uh, you guys picked the worst day to start this because I literally just started my workouts today and the lactic acid is coming in and then obviously putting a thousand plus times already. My, my arm is shot, but all right. Well, uh, if, he, if he gets it done, uh, lock credit for both of you. Okay. you. He has a decent head start. He still has a decent head start. Yeah, okay. I'm at 821, but I can't lift my arm. <laughs> yeah, he's at 821. Sorry. I'm putting like Sarah Hokum. <laughs> it's just a putting style. I'm literally just... Okay. I, all right. Good luck. All right, you too. All right, bye. 
is a putting stock. <laughs> Say home is actually a nasty puddle. Backpedaling, backpedaling. No, I'm not backpedaling. If someone's a bad putt, I've called Evelina out on her putt. I trust me. People know, if you're watching, you guys know, I don't, I don't shy away from anything. I'm just saying, Sarah Hogan doesn't lift her arm above her shoulder when she putts. And that's how I'm putting. Uh -oh. ah. trying to catch up with Connor right now. Connor's trying to get to a thousand, so is Brody. Brody said to Connor, if you get to a thousand before I do, I'll buy you La Coretta. Well, they know all that, they don't know what La Coretta is. Okay, La Coretta is... <laughs> they know you say all that. La Coretta is one of the best Mexican, Mexican joints in Lynchburg. No, not in Lynchburg. Ever. Honestly, ever. It is, it is so good. Um, maybe best Mexican restaurant on the East Coast. I don't know. It is it is by far one of the best little hidden gems of Lunchburg. But um, that's what he offered. They're not really giving giving him anything in return, but it's more so to boost. No, they're doing a punishment. They shouldn't give me anything. No, I know, but I'm trying to I'm trying to fill people in. Oh. Fill people in. It's basically for food. It's basically for food. Those last couple were brutal. Someone says Maddie O says no Mexican food east of the Mississippi. Not La Coretta. La Coretta doesn't count. Brutal. Oh, brutal. It is a bad bad chance. I think waiting in between is not helpful because okay. it just lacked the gas in me. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, my, my arm's gone, guys. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter for sure killed me. Ah! Oh.
That'll do. Why with the Annie? Annie, are you? Why are you okay? Two. 
22. I'm going to say 18. Oh. Okay, 887.
Gosh. Don't wait for that one. One more around the house. Three good batches. Three good batches for the rest of my life. Three good batches for the rest of my life. watching really intensely, enlighten me with Ronnie podcast. He's getting it before I'm even... He's counting. It's good. 
fact checker. I respect it. I respect it. Can't focus on that, it's just holding my cup.
to the channel if you haven't already. Appreciate you guys watching. Obviously, if you guys were here at the beginning, you can see I've got a long way to go to get back to being a good putter, but this is part of it. So, click the link in the comments, go over, and let's, uh, let's try to get Trevor to 2,000. Appreciate you all. card video coming out later. Go over, watch Trevor, Connor. Keep slinging in this. Keep slinging. I can barely even lift my arm to do it. Keep slinging this. 